And now, a creature with a knack for novels, Father of the Bride. Hey, I'm not getting paid to tell you my life story. Now, if you want to cut me in on some profits, say 8% of the solar pay-per-view, I'll be glad to tell you all about myself. Deal? Okay, contestant. First things first. Let's go to round one. It's time to tackle... Believe me, I know just how Sarah feels. Money is the biggest worry of her life. Are you? Then I'm sure you'll agree with me that this is the 14th summer of Sarah's life. <laughs> can buy my video, Petite Feet in Three Weeks, at any store. Cheap! Maybe Sarah should get a copy. She thinks her feet are too big. <laughs> so sure a human wrote this, then you must know that Sarah and Wanda live with their Uncle Willie, right? <laughs> this Charlie's a nice kid, but Sheesh! You can't shut him up! 
Human Aunt Willie won't let Sarah and Charlie feed the birds, right? <laughs> Is darn lucky I wrote this. Not every Earth family gets to have swans come and roost on their roof, but Sarah does. <laughs> only go out in search of golden opportunities, but Charlie wanders out in search of swans. This was your first chance at this puzzler, so here come the bonus bucks. Well played, sport. You've passed round one with flying colors, and you'll move on with all the Starbucks you won here. Now, take a close look at this picture for a clue to round two. Ho-ho! Hold on to your antennae, viewers, because it's time for round two and... Beat the Rock! <laughs> ah, there's nothing like a few negotiations to make things interesting. So Frank offered to make a... with Aunt Willie. This Sarah is a typically excitable human. 
one bad haircut, and she says her life is... You think you've got it rough? Sheesh! I have to buy birthday gifts for 61 sisters! Sarah is darn lucky she only has this one brother. Hello? Do you read me, Earthling? Then tell me. Sarah cut the model's picture out of a... Hey, I'm proud of those sneaky boys. In phys ed, they started throwing these kinds of girls' shoes. All right, then, you hillbilly hominid. Where did Frank want to go on his vehicle? One human, what strange sticky object was Sarah's brother sucking? <laughs> Holy moo! As you dopey humans say, the name of the boy who put on Sarah's shoes is Durham. I never go to the barber. It costs too much. Anyway, I have naturally curly feathers. Sarah got her hair done at what kind of a school? Informed mammals are all alike. Sheesh! You probably don't even know who Frank wanted to take to the lake. <laughs> what is it with your planet? Everything's so bright. Grass is green, candy is red, and Sarah's sneakers of this color. <laughs> I wrote this book. Me, me, me! You're just a big-headed human. And by the way, Sarah thinks what part of her is too big? There's still time to beat the croc if you can simply point out What's wrong with this picture?
Way to go, partner. You beat that old croc and corralled a ranch full of Starbucks. And you kept your opponent from rustling up the credit for writing this book. You played this round so elegantly that we're going to move you up to a new level. Galactic Genius. Get ready for some tough new questions. Fantastic! You've proven that our celebrity is an imposter. But can you prove you know anything about the Earthling who really did write this book? We'll find out in the Solar Lightning Round. You're doing well, contestant. Now, let's see if you can finish the job and brave the challenge of... Stop the human! Go to it and translate. Point to a symbol and replace it with a letter or attempt to win a free letter. Correct! You have won a free letter on the cryptogram. Point to the letter you would like translated.
The timer is ticking down, my friend. Can you tell us? Now what's wrong with this picture? I'm speechless, <laughs> almost. You passed that solar lightning round with flying colors and restored the good name of your Earth author, fantastic. And that means our viewers on the far side of the Milky Way will now get a much closer look at your former opponent. Ho <laughs> ho! Like it or not, we'll see more of your galactic antagonist later. For now, let me just say you are performing magnificently, human. Let's move on. Please select your next opponent. <laughs> 